Hello everyone, myself Dr. Parth Goswami and today I am going to teach you how the cancer cell evade the apoptosis process. So our today's topic of discussion is evasion of the cell death by a cancer cell. It's one of the important molecular bases of cancer formation. You know, as we have discussed in our previous video, there is there is a eight molecular bases of cancer formation and the evasion of apoptosis is one of that molecular bases. So before you understand how cancer cell evade the apoptosis, you need to understand what do you mean by apoptosis. So I have already made the video on apoptosis in the cell injury chapter. You can check the playlist and you can watch the video on the apoptosis to better understand this topic. But let's, uh, let's do the quick recap. So what is apoptosis? So the apoptosis is a programmed cell death. It is one of the protective mechanism in our body. You know friends, whenever there is a, any abnormal cell in our body like that of, uh, you know, viral infected cell, mutant cell, you know, any abnormal cell in the body removed by the process of apoptosis. It is one of the protective mechanism to clear the abnormal cell from our body. So basically there are two pathway of apoptosis. The one is extrinsic pathway, which is activated by a death domain. The death domain means CD95. It's activated by receptor present over the TNF family. While the second pathway of apoptosis is an intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. And that is activated by cellular stress like that of DNA damage, metabolic disturbance, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, like all that pathway will activate an intrinsic pathway of apoptosis and it will occur in mitochondria, right? So that is the two pathway of apoptosis, all right. Now with the cancer, basically there is a dysregulation of intrinsic pathway. I want to say that, you know, cancer cell find the way to escape the intrinsic pathway mainly. So why cancer cell dysregulate mainly intrinsic pathway of apoptosis? Because you know what friends, the cancer cells are subjected to mainly stress. They, they subject to many stress that will initiate an intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. You know, they will not activate extrinsic pathway. So in the cancer, which type of stress the cell has to face? So in the cancer, there could be stress like that of DNA damage. There could be less oxygen available. You know, there could be metabolic disturbance. You know, there could be chemotherapy or radiotherapy that is commonly given in the cancer cell. And there could be a misfolded protein in the cancer. So all these cellular stress, you know, activate the intrinsic pathway. And by the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis, cancer cell can be cleared. So cancer cell has to find the way to evade the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. That's why the cancer cell find the way to evade the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. Now, basically, let's uh, first understand which are the apoptotic gene. So the gene or the products of gene, that is protein. So which are the genes or protein that induces the apoptosis. So the name is beam, bead, bad, puma and bax. You know, all these are apoptotic gene and they will activate a BH3 only protein, which is activated by stress sensor. Whenever there is any stress over the cell, intrinsic pathway of apoptosis is activated and this apoptotic gene will induce, will form a channel in the mitochondria, right? And so they are the apoptotic gene. Which are the anti-apoptotic gene that prevent the apoptosis. You know, they are present over the cell membrane. They will prevent the apoptosis. So that is the BCL2, BCL XL and MCL1. These are the anti-apoptotic gene. We had already discussed about it detail in our previous, uh, uh, previous video, right? We have discussed it in a cell injury. All right. So basically now let's do the quick recap so that you can easily understand how the tumor cell, you know, evade the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. So friends, let's uh, first of all follow this lesser pointer over the slide. You know, whenever there is a, any radiotherapy, chemotherapy, any chemical exposure, any reactive oxygen species, you know, if there is a, any stress, the DNA is getting damaged. And when the DNA is getting damaged, you know, one tumor suppressor gene is activated. The name is P53, which is also known by the name guardian of genome. You know, it will try to repair the DNA damage. But suppose if the P53 can't repair the DNA damage, you know, then they will activate a stress sensor protein. They will activate apoptotic gene. The name is BH3 only protein, beam, bead, bax, or like that of apoptotic gene. So they are getting activated, right? These all are the apoptotic gene. So they will getting activated. They will form the channel over the mitochondria. If you observe carefully, then you can see that here the channel is formed in the mitochondria. And so that from the mitochondria, cytochrome C is getting released. And you know, the cytochrome C will bind with apoptosis inducing factor one, you know, APOF1, they will form the complex, they will form the apoptosome and they will activate the caspases number nine. And finally, caspases number three, which are the executionary caspases and they will induce uh, apoptosis. So this is the normal mechanism that operate in our body, you know, 
and also remember that you know p53 activity is inhibited by mdm2 and additionally remember that you know physiological inhibitor of apoptosis and the anti apoptotic protein you know normally prevent the apoptotic process all right so now after understanding this uh, diagram of intrinsic pathway of apoptosis you can easily understand how cancer cell evade the apoptosis that is the cell death process so the first mechanism by which the cancer cell evade the apoptosis is p53 inactivation p53 is a tumor suppressor gene so now you can understand that if p53 is inactivated if it is mutated then you know p53 cannot do dna repair or they cannot induce the apoptosis process all right second mechanism is mdm2 over expression which can be seen in melanoma like that of cancer so what is the mechanism of mdm2 mdm2 normally prevent the activity of p53 so if mdm2 is over expressed they will prevent the p53 activity and so that you know the apoptosis will not be induced whenever there is a dna damage so that's the two mechanism and the third and fourth mechanism is that in the cancer cell you know the anti apoptotic proteins are activated more they will work more efficiently right in the cancer cell you know there is over expression of anti apoptotic protein particularly like that of bcl2 bclx mcl1 and physiological inhibitor of apoptosis all these anti apoptotic proteins are over expressed in the cancer cell and that's why you know they will not die by apoptosis because the anti anti apoptotic protein you know will prevent the apoptosis and that's why the cancer cell will become immortal all right let's see one of the clinical example of uh, follicular clinical example of uh, how the tumor cell invade the apoptotic process the, so the common example clinical example is follicular lymphoma you know it's a it's a cancer it's a lymphoma you know lymphro tumor and here there is a translocation of 14 to 18 so you know because of that a malignant b lymphocyte will over express a bcl2 anti apoptotic protein and we know very well that bc bcl2 is an anti apoptotic protein so they will prevent the apoptosis and so that you know the lymphoma cell will not die they will survive for a long time and they will cause the lymphoma cancer right so these are the four way by which the cancer cell evade the apoptosis right the main the main mechanism is over expression of anti apoptotic protein and inactivation of the p53 or the over expression of mdm2 these four are the main mechanism of apoptosis Hope you have enjoyed this video. I will be right back with a new video. Till then, take care, friends, and bye bye. Thank you very much. Yeah.